I'm coming on a little bit early today because we are uh, we're doing a little family vacation. Like we're only going about an hour away, but we're going to a coast, to a beach house, and we're going to hang out uh, for an extended weekend. So uh, there's a lot of things to get done this morning, and then we're going to head out, and it's, that's, that's life, right? And so uh, I just wanted to be able to come on early to still be able to hang out with you. And I'm still going to come on tomorrow and Monday. I'm still going to come on, but the scenery will look different. You guys, the house is so cool. It's like it lives inside Instagram. <laughs> Is what is what the house looks like to me. But anyway, okay, so today what we're talking about is how to instantly boost your affiliate income by sharing links the right way, okay? The right way. So I did a big, hour-long, power-packed training on affiliate marketing yesterday in my free group. The link to that is in the description of this video. The training is literally pinned to the very top of the group. You cannot miss it. Uh, it's called the, the Affiliate University, yada, yada. You, you can't miss it. Um, my suggestion is that everybody that wants to create income watches that video. You, you literally come away from that one hour training being able to make money today. If you go and watch it for an hour, you will be able to make money right after you watch it, period, okay? You don't have to buy anything, you don't have to whatever. You're gonna be able to come away from it. Hey, Rhonda, I see you there. Uh, you're gonna be able to come away from it actually making money. So don't sleep on that training, okay? Don't sleep on it. All right. So. Now, how do you uh, share your affiliate links? Because that's what it's about, <clears throat> excuse me, is affiliate links. If you don't know what affiliate links are, you need to watch that training first and then watch this, okay? But how to share them without being skeezy. We wanna make sure that we share them the right way because most people make the mistake of sharing them the wrong way. And then you just look like you are trying to sell people stuff all day long. And it's like, what in the world? is going on here, right? And so to share them the right way, you guys, is to give them context. Whenever a lot of people share them, they're just like, hey, here's my favorite broom. And then here's the link to my favorite broom. Okay, <laughs> what? Uh, it needs to have context. It needs to have an understanding of why you love this broom, if it's an object like that. Like, what difference has it made? What were your other brooms doing that you hated, and then you got this broom and you freaking love it, and you just can't help but share with all the people all over the world about this broom, right? That's the kind of context that it needs to come in. Also, you need to make sure that uh, whenever you're sharing stuff like this, that you're speaking to your people. So another common mistake that people do is they've, they're essentially speaking to everybody all over the world about this broom. And they're like, everybody buy this broom, it's for everyone. Well, that's not going to actually sink in and be validated by anybody. The only way you can do that is to speak to a certain kind of person, like, hey, mom of a seven-year-old, right? We know how paint gets all over the house. We know how these little tiny toys, why do they even make these tiny toys? It's like every toy is Polly Pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm seeing purses that are this big and little tiny shoes and necklaces all over my house. And I'm like, what is going on right now? We have two dogs running around. Who knows what's going to, which dog is going to eat this necklace? You know what I'm saying? Like anyway, so if there were a broom, hi baby, I see you. Um, if there were, my daughter's standing outside. If there were a broom that was somehow stupendous at being able to pick up these little tiny pieces without just kind of flinging them across the room, whatever, I don't know, I'm just, this is arbitrary here, right? I'm just explaining how to tell the story and who you're telling the story to. That mom of a seven-year-old is gonna be like, yes, I get it, there are tiny things all over the house, right? And so you tell the story about that and then you're like, man, this broom is awesome, whatever. That is how you share it. It needs to be context and it needs to be relevant. 
That's it. That's like the easy button on storytelling when you're sharing affiliate links to things. Don't just say, hey, buy this thing, I love it. Who cares, right? Everybody loves something. Tell us why. Tell us why it matters to us. Make us understand, oh, okay, I get it. That would make sense in my world. You guys, if you need some uh, inspiration, some inspo, if you need that, Look at your commercials on TV, like go through and watch commercials. They're explaining to a certain kind of person why this works best for them. And just look at the tiny storytelling. It's 30 second storytelling, right? Just look at the tiny storytelling that happens there and then work that into your world with your people, okay? Now, if you are ready to actually become a professional affiliate marketer, like make this as maybe your one and only income stream. You guys, it's a quarter of what I make. I, I could run with it as my only income stream. I could just do that and not really have to do anything else at all, okay? If you want to do that, I created a program, all right? Uh, you're not going to be able to see the program. I don't have the link for it in the description or anything. I want you to watch the training first to make sure that it's even something you would want to jump into. Also, the training is going to teach you exactly what you need to know to be able to make money today. And then if you want to become a professional and turn it into legacy money for your family far after when you're gone, if you want to actually get serious about this, and not have a boss and work, I don't know, five hours or less a week is necessary for affiliate marketing. You don't even need to work five hours a week, right? If you wanna do that, then you can take the next step and it's totally up to you and it's incredibly reasonable. In comparison to all of my courses, this one is incredibly low priced, just so you know. And it's because my job is to make sure that your family is recession proof, period. And so that's why I'm doing this at such a ridiculously discounted rate because you guys need to know this stuff so you can do it and so you can make your family recession proof, period. Okay, you guys, I'm out of here. You have the best day. See you later. Bye-bye.